just how powerful is the wheel, otherwise known as the Dharma Chakra, and the most overpowered device of Ryoman Sukuna, and the best part of the Ten Shadows, at least until this behemoth gets a totality. And you know this technique is busted when I'm making a whole video on one part of one Shikigami. So what exactly is the deal with the wheel? Well, for the first half of Jujutsu Kaisen, Megami was in one giant rush to die by Maharaga. For the longest time, Megami saying, with this treasure I summon, didn't make a whole lot of sense because you're really just making a hand sign. But now we know that the wheel is what is used to summon Maharaga, and it is shared between the user and the Shikigami. And the proper term for this wheel is the Wheel of Dharma, or Dharma Chakra. And the Dharma Chakra is one of the most important symbols in Buddhism, representing the Eightfold Path. But how ludicrous is this wheel? Oh, it is incredibly busted. And it is also the absolute number one complete and utter champion of copium prescriptions in Jujutsu Kaisen currently, because it has the capability of adapting to any and all phenomena, and that is a pretty perspicuous definition. And so far, we have been given no reason to believe that it is an incorrect definition. Once you have tamed Maharaga, you are fully capable of summoning the wheel for yourself. And once the wheel is in your possession, well, once something makes contact with you, you begin to adapt. Many believe it is not adapt unless you have been directly hit by something. And this isn't actually the case. We can see in chapter 219 that when Yorozu opens her domain, and before she has even used her sure hit effect, the wheel is already spinning in response. So it's not that hard to get this thing's adaptation running. Really all you have to do is make physical contact with any part of it and you'll start adapting. But how far does the adaptation actually go? Well, once the Dharma Chakra is finished adapting to Yorozu's technique, Maharaga proved fully capable of interacting with infinite pressure. And after eating a dismantle from Ryo Matsukuna, the next time he attempted a dismantle, Maharaga was able to see his technique. And Maharaga's adaptation has been shown to retroactively heal the user. And this is not the same as Reverse Curse Technique, as Maharaga ate a cleave straight through its brain. And at any time, the user of the Dharma Chakra is fully capable of swapping out with Maharaga. And all adaptation is shared between them. And people talk about this wheel adapting to Limitless all the time. Well, there's really no reason it shouldn't be able to. And considering that Maharaga was heavily implied to have fought a Six Eyes Limitless user in the past, and killed him? Are we trying to say that the wheel was not involved in defeating a Six Eyes Limitless user? What do we think Maharaga was doing, just slamming into the infinity wall indefinitely? The implication is pretty clear, and the adaptation showcases in the story already line up with this. And I have also seen it claimed that the Sword of Extermination was used to cut through the infinity wall. If positive curse energy alone is enough to nullify curse techniques, a lot of things stop making sense. For example, shouldn't Sukuna be chopped right down the middle here? If it's able to nullify curse techniques, why can't it nullify your reinforcement? And how is Gojo even able to use curse energy to create hollow purple if he's using laughs and reversal combined together? So I'm sorry, RCT deer, but you have a limit. I'm gonna say it, this is cope. We're coping if we think it can't get through infinity. Because given current feats and statements, the adaptation is as good as it sounds. The only known way to kill a user of the Dharma Chakra is to use a new attack they have yet to adapt to. And this attack needs to be an instant kill. So Gojo, you better shoot your hollow purple straight and true. But can you destroy the wheel? So far, no, that would be fair. Because the wheel is seemingly indestructible. It ate a malevolent shrine it may have adapted to, and definitely ate a fire arrow it was not adapted to. And even after Maharaga was vaporized, we see a fully pristine Dharma Chakra being dragged by Ryom and Sukuna before it turns back into shadows. And the wheel on Maharaga, pretty scary. But when Sukuna showed that he was fully capable of pulling out the wheel for himself, that is when the wheel rocketed 10 shadows up in the power levels tremendously. Maharaga versus Gojo? Maharaga is Gojo fodder. Unless Gojo's brain is rotted by plot-induced stupidity, which to be fair is probably what's gonna happen. Gojo teleports into near orbit and floats, and Maharaga has the privilege of watching him form a hollow purple. Deflect this. On paper, Maharaga with the wheel, mid. But Sukuna with the wheel, well, now we're talking about real shit. 
Not only is Sukuna far smarter than Maharaga is, he is both faster and stronger. For someone like Megami, swapping between the Shikigami and then swapping the wheel between yourself and summoning Maharaga makes sense. Oh, you're about to be attacked? Drop the wheel back on yourself. But when you're Ryoman Sukuna and you fight 24-7, it's pretty pointless and swapping back to your Maharaga really just takes away your buff. Because as of chapter 219, it looks like you can't have the Maharaga out and the wheel on yourself at the same time. And the rest of these Shikigami, why does Sukuna need any of these? Does Sukuna really need a bull? Is that what we want? Does Sukuna need a bull? Or this rabbit? Or a whole store of them? or the entire zoo. Nine out of 10 of these Shikigami are desperately stuck staring up at the overwhelming magnificence of the Gojo Satoru floating above them. So obviously Sukuna's only option is to Noah's Ark new and have them all fly up at the Hollow Purple. Or perhaps Maharaga will find the tallest building and jump off of it at Gojo. So the wheel is OP, and if you're Ryom and Sukuna, well, it's really all you need. And that's my video on the Dharma Chakra, explained. Subscribe for more. And as always, thanks for watching.